channel my name's Megan just in case you don't know me already and I'm back with an exciting video so I'm gonna be doing like a full face of Beauty Bay makeup like Beauty Bay's own brand makeup I have done this video before on my channel with the book of magic palette so I'll leave it linked down below in case you want to check that out as well but today I'm gonna to be focusing on the Beauty Bay fiery palette this is the 2.0 palette it's 42 colours you get both mattes and shimmers and it just looks stunning look how beautiful it looks so this is going to be the main focus of the video but i am going to show you how these all work too these are the um blushes bronzers and highlighters that beauty bit also do so i have recently gained some subscribers so thank you so much if you've subscribed if you do want to subscribe buttons down below if you want to stick around and if you do enjoy my video make sure you hit the like button and let's just get into the video so this is what the palette looks like. The graphics on the front is like right on my street. I absolutely love this kind of graphics. Look at this, it's absolutely beautiful. This is what the palette looks like. There's 42 colours and I just think it looks absolutely stunning. So I'm hoping that the shimmer formula is right up there because I feel like they've really been up in the shimmer game. I absolutely love the Beauty Bay Bright Matte Palette, but when I bought the 42 colour Beauty Bay Bright Palette, I didn't like the shimmers as much. So I'm hoping that the shimmers are gonna be impressive. So we'll just swatch a few shades. So let's swatch this yellow, orange, this one. Let's go with this like red over here. Okay, so there's just one swipe of some of the matte shades. Let's swatch some shimmers. So that's what some of the shimmers look like. I'm not gonna lie, these swatches are really, really beautiful. And some of the shades are a little bit crumbly, but that's fine. I'm doing my eyeshadow first, so I don't mind that. So I'm gonna prime my eyes and I'm gonna use the Beauty Bay Eye Base in the shade two. I absolutely love this eye base. I just feel like it's so good and it soaks in and it takes a while for it to crease on my eyes. So I'm going to start my look off with the shade Sour, which is this one here. And I'm going to run that through my crease. I'm going to use it on the Gesso 234 Look Smoky Shader Brush. I'm not worrying about blending or anything right now. I just want to get the right kind of shade. So that shade went on really, really nice actually. I have only put like quite a thin layer on but I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and just work on that blend a little bit so it's not so harsh. So now I'm going to take the shade Pumpkin and I'm just going to use that shade to blend it out a little bit. I'm taking it on my M506 brush which is my favourite brush. So I think those shades have blended in really really nice. I'm going to build them up in just a minute but first I want to take the shade Sherbet which is this shade right here. It's the bright bright yellow in the palette and I'm going to take it on the same brush the M506 just to blend it out even further. I'm just going to go back over those same three shades and really build them up and intensify them. So this is what my eye is looking like and I think it's looking really really nice. Everything's blended really beautiful I did decide to take it right the way up and I'm really happy so far I'm really impressed I do want to deepen it up a little bit so I'm gonna take the shade wine which is this one down here just to deepen things up I'm taking that on a slightly smaller brush this is the m321 brush so I think I'm just gonna dip into the black called raven just to further deepen things up hope I don't mess this up now I'm trying to be brave and use black. So this is what it's looking like so far. I don't think the black is the best black but I don't mind because I'm a little bit scared of black but 
I'm trying to get over my fear of black eyeshadow. But I am just going to hop off camera, I'm going to cut my crease and then I will be right back. So this is what we're looking like. I'm going through one of those things where I just need to try and really, really hard to trust the process. Because right now I'm not feeling it, but hopefully by the end I'll be feeling it. So for my lid shade, I was gonna take the shade Tiger, but I actually think I'm gonna take the shade Sun instead. And I'm taking that on the 237 Detail Shader Brush by Jessup and I'm trying that dry as well so that shade just went on so beautiful it just packed on really really stunning I'm really really impressed with this shade I'm just gonna work on this blend in the middle here just using the shades that we've already used in the palette so those actually blended in really really nice I have just put some tape on my eyes I do want to do like a little bit of a wing I won't be able to talk whilst I do this, so I'm just going to like speed it up and not talk. As you can see like a little bit different so all I've done is finished off my little wing that I wanted to do I used the Beauty Bay glitter in the shade Wuta? Wuta? Wuta maybe? Um, it's just one of their liquid eyeshadows I absolutely love using these so I used it to outline my little wing thing and my cut crease and then I also did my other eye and I also did my base makeup so for my primer I used the NYX Marshmallow Primer I've been loving that these are all items that you can buy on Beauty Bear this is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation for my foundation I did mix in the lightener with it and I've used the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer. For my powder I just used the Makeup Revolution one in the shade Lace. So I'm going to finish off my eyes, I'm going to take the shade Wine which is this one down here and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. <laughs> And for my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Soft. It's the lightest. It's like a little bit of a shimmer in the palette. This is like the perfect inner corner and brow bone shade. So now I want to move on to some bronzer. I have two of the Beauty Bay bronzers. I have this one which is in the shade Donut and this one which is in the shade Fawn. Fawn is the lighter shade and then Donut is like the second lighter shade but they both work on my skin tone. Donut is just pretty cool tone but I'm going to use Fawn today because obviously my looks quite warm and I'm going to use that on a GH06 brush. And I'm only going to take a tiny, tiny bit because I do remember this being pretty pigmented. I absolutely love these Beauty Bay bronzers. I definitely recommend them. Fawn if you like more of a warm kind of bronzer. Donut if you like a cool tone kind of bronzer. I like both. I really like both, but... I definitely <laughs> recommend them. I have three of their blushes. So I have the shade Peachy that looks like that. I also have the shade Blossom, looks like that. And my favourite <laughs> is called Bitten. That one looks like that. So I am actually going to take a combination of these two. So this is Blo this is Peachy and this is Blossom. So I'm just going to take a little bit of Peachy first. 
on the same JH06 brush. That is pretty. And I'm going to take a little bit of blossom just over the top. These two together. Really nice. Beauty Bay highlighters, so I do actually have two. So I have the shade Beam, which looks like this. And I have the shade Flash that has actually um, smashed, but that's what that looks like. And I'm just gonna take a mixture of both. I'm gonna take the Beauty Bay lipstick in the shade Freckle and that's what that lipstick looks like. It's the only one that I actually have, so I'm gonna use this one. It's just a really, really nice new kind of shade. I really like it. And I do actually have four glosses. I have Candy, which is this one. I have the shade Petal. I have the shade Mocha. And I have the shade Slippers, and I'm going to take the shade Slippers as my gloss. I highly, highly, highly recommend these lip glosses. They just feel so nice on the lips. Like, really, really moisturising, not sticky or anything. I really, really like the Beauty Bay lip glosses. So, I am just going to hop off camera. I'm going to apply some mascara, put on some eyelashes, and then I'll be right back to show you my finished look. So, this is my finished look. Let me know what you think down below. I finished off my look with my House of Boo eyelashes in the style Clara, named after my beautiful, beautiful friend. So I will leave her Instagram linked down below. You should definitely go and check it out because she's so talented. And definitely go and check out House of Boot Lashes because look at them, they're beautiful. I was very, very kindly gifted these, but I absolutely would not recommend them if they weren't any good. So yeah, I had so much fun playing around with this palette it was just so easy to work with some of the shades were like a little bit crumbly but i don't mind that it was totally fine it was so easy to work with i definitely feel like beauty bay have up their shimmer game so if you weren't keen on the previous shimmers and the previous palettes then this one's really really good i highly recommend this i think it's like 23 pounds and you get 42 shades I just love it. I think it's beautiful. But if I'm totally honest, I actually recommend everything from Beauty Bay's own brand, especially like all their new stuff. So like, I'm just tipping this highlighter over. So like, like the highlighters and the blushes and the bronzers as well. Everything, even down to the eye base. I really like that eye base as well. I'm waiting for them to bring like a luminous kind of setting spirit. They have a matte one, but I'm not really a matte person. I want like a luminous one. Not that I need any more setting sprays, but it's Beauty Bay, innit? I just have a real soft spot for Beauty Bay makeup. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and make sure you hit the like button if you did enjoy my video. And I love you, stick around, hit subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!